Okay, this topic is going to be about the new iPad mini that's just been released. We kind of knew for a while that they were going to be coming out with it. Uh, the, the beginning price is uh, $329. Uh, starting out as, of course, the more memory, the uh, the higher the cost. Now, I see this as a direct competitor against some of the um, inexpensive Android tablets. So I think they're trying to keep the, the price um, low as they can. Um, uh, it's still going to utilize the A5 um, processor like they use in the iPad 2. It is thinner and lighter. Um, they, they don't use the retina display. Like I said, they're trying to keep the cost down, I think. Um, but even though it doesn't have a retina display, uh, it actually uses a higher pixels per inch than the iPad 2. The iPad 2 uses uh, 132 PPI, where the, uh, the iPad mini actually uses uh, 163 um, pixels per inch. So you're going to get a little bit more uh, crisper display. A little easier to read as far as text and graphics. Um, I'm kind of wondering if they're eventually going to retire the iPad 2 because the pricing is getting a little bit too close to the um, base price um, uh, of the uh, the iPad 2, uh, which I believe was that 400, uh, for uh, 399, I believe. So I'm kind of wondering they're going to uh, expire the uh, iPad 2. Now, what's uh, also amazing is they're keeping the battery life is still at 10 hours, and um, Apple has really done a lot to increase the capacity of these batteries. And uh, you know, I figure it would. Th that's one of the main concerns with me and other users is is the battery life going to stay the same? How much is it going to be reduced by? But it's still the same. So uh, great on Apple on that. And they decided to use the same resolution. An aspect ratio of the iPad 2, which is, I think, a good decision because um, it's going to be easier for developers. <clears throat> excuse me. And uh, the the users, because this, you can use the same um, applications without having to be changed to a, a different resolution aspect ratio. And it's going to it's going to help reduce fragmentation in the Apple ecosystem. Now, of course, the retina display, that's totally different. They do have to utilize um, separate apps for that. But that's a whole different story uh, altogether. And I think um, also using the same uh, resolution and aspect ratio, it, it, I think it makes the apps and uh, the use of, of this uh, iPad mini more useful because um, some of the smaller um, tablets with the seven inch screen sizes, they're kind of like widescreen, but you can't get as much, um, you know, it, it's just harder to read. Um, where this one's kind of more like, I'm not, I'm not sure the uh, aspect ratio, it seems like more like four by three or something. Uh, I don't know offhand, but um, to me, it's, it's better for uh, doing things in a smaller screen size. So there we go.